a wonderful day, learners! Today is another exciting and fun-filled learning experience here in the world of science. Before we begin to our discussion, let us have a few reminders for this session. Number one, focus to our topic. By focusing to your topic, it will give you more learnings and understanding of the topic that you study. Number two, participate in the activity. It is more enjoyable and exciting if you participate in the activity. The more you participate, the more you learn. Lastly, number three, be honest all the time. You will feel a pure success if you do our task honestly. Alright learners, I know you are now equipped with the simple guidelines of our session today. Let us now start our discussion. Alright learners, our focus for this discussion is finding the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons of elements, and also finding the atomic mass and atomic number of a certain element. But before we start our discussion, let us have a quick review of our past lesson. For this quick review, you are going to choose the letter of the correct answer, comment your answer in the comment box below, and lastly, you have 5 seconds for each item. This is number 1. Who discovered the negative subatomic particles of an atom? Is it A. J.J. Thomson? B. Ernest Rutherford? C. James Chadwick? Or D. John Dalton? You have 5 seconds to comment on your answer. And the timer starts now. Time is up! The correct answer is... A. J.J. Thompson This is number 2. Which statement matches a subatomic particle with its charge? Is it A. A neutron has negative charge? B. A proton has a negative charge? C. A neutron has no charge? Or B. A proton has no charge. You have 5 seconds again to comment on your answer. The timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is... C. A neutron has no charge. This is the last number. Number 3. Who among the following scientists proposed the nuclear model of the atom? Is it A. J.J. Thomson? B. Ernest Rutherford? C. James Chadwick? Or D. John Dalton? You have 5 seconds again to comment on your answer. The timer starts now. Okay, time is up. The correct answer is B. Ernest Rutherford. Wow, congratulations learners if you got all the correct answers. 
Okay learners, our topic for today is Finding the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons of elements. This is a part 2 of our discussion regarding at atom and molecules. And also, we will find the atomic number and atomic mass of an atom. Let's go! Alright! Take a look at this example. As you can see, the number above this num symbol is what we call the mass number. While the number below this symbol is what we call atomic number. Another is, as you can see on this example, this sample is coming from the periodic table of elements. The number at the upper right is the atomic number while the letter symbolizes the symbol of an element or atom and the number below represents the atomic mass. In the periodic table, the atomic mass is in decimal number or has a decimal number. Now, let's have a quick review if you still remember the discussion a while ago. Alright, the question is, what is the atomic mass of sodium? You have 5 seconds to comment on your answer. The timer starts now. Alright, time is up. The correct answer for this is 23. So the 23 is located above this symbol that represents atomic mass. Okay, for the last one, the question is, what is the atomic number of potassium? You have 5 seconds again to comment on your answer. The timer starts now. Alright, time is up. The correct answer is 19. Okay, learners. Did you get the idea? Great. Alright, learners. Take a look at this given. As you all know, this is the oxygen. The symbol of oxygen is O or capital O. This number below is also the number of protons. As you all know, this number below this symbol represents the atomic number. And the atomic number is equal to the number of protons. Next, the number above, as you all know, is the mass number or atomic mass. Atomic mass is equal to the number of protons plus to the number of neutrons. Okay, additional information, number of electrons is also equal to number of protons. Another one, Number of neutrons is equal to atomic mass minus number of protons. Alright, let's have a quick review again if you still remember the discussion a while ago. Alright, let's have this another given. What is the number of protons of sodium? You have 5 seconds to comment on your answer. And the timer starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is 11. 
here is the 11. As you all know, number of protons is always equal to the number of atom or atomic number. Another, what is the number of neutrons of sodium? You have 5 seconds to comment on your answer. The timer starts now. Alright, time is up. The correct answer is 12. Why 12? Because our formula is atomic mass minus atomic number. Again, the formula to get neutrons is atomic mass minus atomic number or number of protons. Alright, did you get the idea? Great! Alright learners, I want to test your idea regarding our lesson today. In 3 minutes, you're going to answer the given table. Please be honest in answering this because it will test your understanding. Comment your answer in the comment section below. The timer starts now. Alright, time is up. Let us now show the correct answer. For boron, 
the mass number of boron is 11, while the proton's electrons is 5 and 5. Now, for sodium, the number of protons is 11, for electrons, 11, and for neutrons, 13. For gallium, the mass number is 68, while the atomic number is 31, and the electrons is 31. And for the last element, the atomic number of yttrium is 39, the protons is 39, and the number of neutrons is 50. Alright learners, congratulations if you got all the correct answers. Alright learners, thank you for watching our session today. I hope you learned and enjoyed this session. Again, this is Mr. Rogelio Rivera, your science teacher. See you on another exciting learning experience here in the world of science. Take care and God bless.